Hey guys, welcome back to the Poker Reborn channel. Got a little bit of tidbits here for you, some new small things that I found. And uh, let's go, let's dive right on in. We're gonna start out with the actual characters. Number one, actually, let's let me see if I can't pull them here. Okay, so this is my assassin here. You're gonna notice a few things on him, but the assassin himself. I will say that I bought two assassins now, <clears throat> and one was a different side little campaign thing I was trying to do, just testing some things out. And really, I found that they're consistent. I, I'm sure that the assassin, its stats is going to be same to is going to be exactly the same to uh, the fandom. If you go to fandom, you can actually look this stuff up. The, the assassin isn't a new character. It's just the only way you could get them in the past was by having a bastard get killed and you accepting them into the into the group. Uh, or there's a few different ways to do it through that quest. But nonetheless, you can check out the stats for that there. And then the other thing too is I ended up buying two different Manhunters. One of them ended up dying already, this one here. I noticed that the melee stat is actually fairly well. The last one that I had was 57. This one was... 60. As you can see, I've done nothing with him. I actually just bought him. I did give him the whip to see if he could do a status effect on the slate or the indebted, and he doesn't allow that. So pretty much, if you're going to do that whip effect, it has to be through the campaign that is Manhunter. Uh, other than that, I find that again these guys only very very small sample size, but have been very nice. Uh, they have very good uh, melee skill starting out. So that part is pretty cool. Next thing here too, uh, I do like this pole mace. Uh, this guy was actually supposed to be a pole mace user here, but um, but yeah, the pole mace has been actually really really effective. It's been really nice. I see that you can get them very early on. You can find them right away in the campaign and the south. So being able to get one of these is very very nice. I could see a whole front line being daggers. The dagger, I can't even tell you guys enough. This weapon, the damage itself, I literally sit there and just stab people. I will literally just do this stab. Right now, my build, if I go into the arena, I use him just to debuff everybody. Literally, this uh, this overwhelm trait, and with the dagger, and just the dam the actual damage that I'm outputting is sick. I might do like a few gladiator just arena fights for you guys to see what I'm talking about but you can really I was facing a sword master in the arena and all I did was just keep poking at him and he couldn't hit any like he was struggling to hit anybody not that he couldn't and then that uh, eventually and uh, neutralized him just some things to kind of look at but uh, yeah next thing here I want to get into is the serpent skin this thing is amazing 30 durability negative 2 maximum fatigue and a reduction of 25% against firearms the, the firearm damage wow like this is uh really above the grade here uh you're you if you think about it everything that you do like most of th most of the things that you have has uh, how do i explain this i could see this in an in the previous battle brothers dlc's if this would have came out it would have been plus 30 durability, negative four maximum fatigue, and then you get the 25%. But this is so far one of the best attachments you can probably get, especially because of the south. Uh, just being able to get it so early. Now how to get these things, I will now show you that, taxidermist. Well, we'll start here because of it. Pretty much you need two serpent skins and one Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> but no, one Neverhorn and you can build this thing pretty simple then there's a smoke pot you have the acidic saliva this does not come from serpents it comes from hyenas you have that with the brain the never brain and you can make a smoke pot for only 50 crowns yes only 50 crowns it is literally insane how easy it is to buy these things and then of course the large a large uh, powder bag very cool there uh, one other thing here or two things. There's actually two things. One's going to be something that somebody had brought up as well. I want to give a shout out to one of my guys, one of my subscribers. So, but real quick, the handgun. I can't imagine using this gun again without using the crossbow mastery. The ability to fire 
the ability to fire immediately after your turn uh, or during your turn you can reload fire or fire reload it's so good it's so good that AoE damage it does piercing damage and it also does burning damage it can do like uh, uh, it doesn't burn people for turns but I'm saying it'll do like a debuff injury the next thing is uh, yeah just keep the bags and stuff you're gonna want a few bags because you only get so many but no this is the this is the big thing here guys Namor I want to give him a shout out he ended up talking about nine lives and how it's going to be actually efficient I've been a doubter of nine lives of course but for this scenario slaves like as a manhunter if once you do a manhunter run having all of your indebted or slaves however you want to say it every single one of them having nine lives makes a viable option for buffing them during the fact that they're gonna be coming back to life the difference is when you hit them you actually do damage you do like I think it's like one to four damage so if their health is only at like five health or four health after coming back to life you're kind of doing a disservice but up till that point you're getting a buff and then once it happens that they go down they come back as nine lives they get all that different uh, defense so it's all up in the air but I think that that's a very very viable way to do it and I would suggest uh, I, I'm gonna be testing out the manhunter run here before long and I will be testing that as well so again huge shout out to Namor for that and uh, yeah that's gonna about do it please hit the like subscribe uh, I do have a massive video tonight roleplay heaven I'm talking uh, if you I guarantee you never seen anything like it five o'clock tonight it's going to be the series finale for the battle hounds and at the end of that uh, we dive into um, the story will go on trust me but I it's it's very dark if you like Game of Thrones you will love this or you'll like this at least so thanks again and I'll see you in the next one bye